Amy Kane, uh, Derek's wife. That's right, yes. Yeah, you know, and and yeah. Amy's, I don't know, probably about 81, 82. So it was quite an exercise for Amy to get up and, and come. And Derek was a very quiet piece that was put up on uh, on the wall. And I think if it was just a commercial gallery or if it was you know, showing at a friend's place, it wouldn't have had the same impact. This was the Museum of Brisbane mm. uh, that was paying attention to her husband. You know. And this was something that uh, you know, we were proud of, but Amy was proud of also. Any change that occurs in the world begins with a story. And that's really the, the, the fascinating aspect. So, you know, as people come and meet Derek, or as they come and meet Bev, they, they, they work and they say, you know, I know someone, and then it begins from so there. Quite often someone will say, I mm, know someone yeah. who's suicided, or my uncle's suicided, or my grandfather was in hospice care just recently all these other stories unfold that so even though it may not be their story I think that connection and therefore the excuse to be able to talk about their experience of that also is shared look we we go about our daily business we shop we eat we shop we eat and then we shop again but the bottom line is we are the stories we tell and we are the stories that we share with others and and the Museum of Brisbane is very much an archive where those stories are being collected uh, and uh, it, it captures our past, it captures our, uh, our present, but more than that, it engages us in, in terms of what our future is going to be.